Hello there, today I'm going to be trying and testing Hada Labo. Welcome, 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 welcome back or welcome here for the first time. This is Self Care Karen. This channel is all about my self care journey where I explore things like my obsession or addiction to beauty products, um, guided meditations, and also law of attraction techniques. You can um, follow me on Pinterest and on Instagram where I pin and post daily. Also, I have an Etsy shop and in my Etsy shop, I sell personalized skincare recommendations. So depending on your budget, your skin type, your skin concern, there's a package there for you, but also um, I'll personalize the uh, products that I curate onto the list so that you can go off and, and buy them. Um, and it's a really inexpensive way to get some tailored advice for your skincare. I also sell um, self-care tools, so digital downloads that can really help with your self-care practice like self-care challenges, wellness challenges, and I also sell um, meditation scripts and personalised meditation scripts. So if that's something that uh, sounds good to you, please go and visit my Etsy shop. Um, you can see the details on the screen. It's called Self Care Karen. And I have included a coupon code in the video details so that you can get money off any purchase that you make in my shop. Rightio, so today's video is about me trying and testing um, what is proclaimed to be Japan's number one skincare line. Okay, and this became available in Superdrug gosh, probably about 18 months ago. Um, and I bought some of the products from the range and I've been trying them out. And I just wanted to um, share my experiences with you. Maybe I'll start off by telling you a little bit about my skin. Um, so obviously I've got aging skin, we all have, but I am of a certain age. So I'm going to be 47 um, later this year. I think I'm doing okay on the wrinkle front, not so much on the bags under the eyes front. Um, I also have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation or, or melasma up here and I sometimes get it uh, around here and I do get uh, redness on my skin. Um, so today, for example, I've got um, a primer on which I don't usually use but I've got some in my stash so I thought I'd better start using those and then I've got a foundation on and um, not powder or anything else, a bit of highlighter and a bit of uh, bronzer and obviously eye and lip makeup. Um, anyway, I do suffer quite a lot from blackheads, um, but I also get dryness. So I guess you could say my uh, skin was combination. And I do have some fine lines, may mainly around my eye area, which obviously I'm, I'm trying to turn back time. Uh, sorry for that. Um, but yeah, definitely don't want to get any more. So what I did when I bought um, the Hadalabo range was I tried to get the, that there are kind of um, different ranges within the brand. Um, I tried to get the one that I thought was best suited to my skin. So I got the ones that are called, um, that've got this super hyaluronic acid in them, which is a trademark. So I got three products um, and I'm gonna go through them one by one. I got a cleanser, I got a uh, lotion, an anti-aging lotion, and I got, this is my most recent purchase um, and actually the one that I used up the fastest. Um, this is a smoothing anti-fatigue eye cream for day and night. Okay, so let me um, just talk you through um, my experience with this brand. And um, I have to say that I was really excited to use it, but I have to say also that I have not been um, wowed by it at all. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, it's kind of, in Superdrug, it's not, there. it's kind of mid-range, I would say. It's not obviously budget, but it's somewhere up there. So I think each product was around... Um, oh, actually, that's I tell a lie because I got these when they were on offer, so they're probably a bit more expensive. So I reckon they were probably about eight pounds on average each one, um, but normally they would be more, a bit more than that. So anyway, always look out for offers. That's my advice to you. Anyway, let's start off with the cleanser. Okay, so this says it's gentle hydrating cleanser all in one. And on the back, it says this gentle, foaming, creamy, hydrating cleanser purifies the skin at the same time, protecting and locking in moisture. Well, that's very interesting because actually I found this to be quite drying. 
and um i'm sorry my um my tripod is cheap oh my god has that been sticking out the whole time blimey um anyway my my tripod is really cheap i need to invest in a better one and it keeps on coming down so i'm just gonna push it back up okay <laughs> and hopefully it will stay there i don't think it's going to i need to get a new one shall i just i'm just gonna bite the bullet today i think and get a new one because it's not good i'm gonna have to bend down a bit <laughs> anyway this cleanser i found to be quite drying so the fact that it contains hyaluron or their their trademark trademarked ingredient i guess super hyaluronic acid i didn't get that from this at all i'm not a massive fan of foaming cleansers anyway i much prefer cream or balms or oils um and that's because my skin can dry it quite easily so yeah definitely not well by this and i will not be repurchasing this um it's taken me a long time to use up and that's more about me not loving it than anything else really okay second second product that i've tried is this lotion it says anti-aging super hydrating again it contains this super hyaluronic acid ingredient collagen and retinol so all really fantastic things this is like the never-ending lotion um, you're supposed to pump out a, sm a small amount. I think it says pea size. Yeah, warm a pea size portion in your hands. So you pump it out, warm it and apply it. Um, and I've been applying this every single day, just trying to use it up. Um, and I reckon there's probably a third, if not a bit more still in there. And, you know, I've had it for, gosh, um, well over six months, maybe even a year now. Yeah, coming up to a year. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm really not loving this. I don't find it to be that hydrating, particularly considering it's got hyaluronic acid in it, particularly considering it's got collagen in it. Um, and really, I just want to finish this up and move on. Um, I, n I rarely, rarely use this on its own. So I will apply this and I'll apply some other serum or apply a ser another serum and then apply this just to try and use it up. So, again, something... I, I don't know. For these two, I wonder if um, if you had more um, oily, leaning towards oily skin, if these might be a better option for you. Um, but certainly for my kind of, I get dry skin, even though I've got blackhead skin. Uh, yeah, not, not great. And then the final product, which definitely has been my favourite of the three that I've tried, is this eye cream. So it says it's a smoothing anti-fatigue eye cream for day and night. And I've only ever applied this for day because I usually use a retinol eye cream at night time. Uh, and I try not to use retinol during the day because um, of the fact that it makes your skin more sun sensitive. Apologies as a plane going by. Um, but yeah, um, so that's why I don't use retinol during the day. But that said, this has got retinol in it um, and it is meant to be used um, during the day, can be used during the day. It actually says can be used during the day on makeup. I've not actually tried that. Um, and it says it's recommended for sensitive skin. Um, yeah, I didn't have any kind of reaction to this. I didn't get any kind of additional redness. That is true. Um, I like this. It was nice to apply. Has it um, anti-fatigued my eyes? Well, you tell me, although that said, didn't use it today because it's empty. Um, yeah, but you know what? Not not wowed, not, not wowed by this either. Um, but fairly inexpensive for for an eye cream and I do actually believe in using eye creams I know there's a lot of chit chat about um, you know whether or not you really need to have an eye cream but I do feel that the skin is thinner around the eye and also a, it's kind of more oily that's why an eye primer is something that I typically always use below makeup um, just to make my eye makeup stay longer stay on longer um, so I do definitely believe in having an eye cream and I think that you would find if you always applied your day creams around the eye you might get um, some kind of reaction. I know that I do. I sometimes get, kind of get like red patches here. So um, that's why I always go for, for a specific eye cream and also having one reminds me to use it. It reminds me to apply cream around the eye area. So and for me that's where my biggest aging is happening right so I, I want to pay particular attention to it. Um, yeah, so okay, but not, you know, not, not holy grail. None of these are epic fails, but none of them are holy grail for me. 
Um, also wanted to mention something else. So this says, Japan's number one skincare line, yet it is made in the USA. All of them, I think, say. Oh no, right, this one's made in Japan, okay? But these two have been made in the USA. Go figure, I don't understand that at all. Um, yeah, I guess it's cheaper to make it in the USA than it is to make it in Japan, I'm not sure. Anywho, that was my experience of Hada Labo. Um, what has your experience been? Have you used this brand? Um, love to, love to, love to hear from you. Please put some comments down below. Um, it'd be really great to hear about your experiences. Also, if there's a particular skincare brand that you would like me to have a go with, to try out, then please let me know. I am um, always on the lookout for more video ideas. And obviously it would be great if I did a video that you were particularly wanting me to look at a particular product you were particularly wanting me to look at. Um, but you know, I do have lots of videos coming. Um, I'm always trying out different products um, for the benefit of humankind. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my um, scientific, no, it wasn't really scientific, but my look, my honest review, shall we say, into Hadalabo, into the free products that I tried. Um, really looking forward to seeing you again soon. Just a quick reminder, I've put a coupon code below for my Etsy shop. Please go and take a look. Um, hopefully you'll, you'll find something there that, that you like. And all that remains to say is remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.